So what's wrong with you? Your old man throw you out or what? I had a fight with my mom. Family fights are the worst. When my mom found out that my dad was getting into my pants, she took after him with a knife. And I was only 12 at the time. But I still have nightmares about it. Jesus, don't let any more shitty things happen to me. It's me. Just calling to tell you that everything's all right. Oh, Izzy, I've been so worried. I phoned everywhere. The police, your friends, the hospital. Look, Mom, you're making a mountain out of a molehill. You gotta stop worrying about me. Last night I thought about us a lot. I stayed at a shelter for street people. What? Don't worry, it was a good experience. I realized that you going crazy over your job and me going crazy because you're always on my case aren't the biggest problems around. I guess I think about myself too what much, is... and you don't think about yourself Come enough. On. So instead of fretting about me all day, how about going shopping and buying some of the things you never have time or chance to get? What I'm saying is, look after yourself better. Give me a little space to look after me. Isabel, are you on drugs or something? I think you better come straight home, and we'll have a serious talk. I'm gonna hang up now, Julie. Don't get mad, please, and don't worry. I'll call you later. Bye. Come on, we should go before my mom gets home from St. Lawrence Market. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Nose. Gotta cut it. Hurry up. I want to show you this new store. Ooh la la. Ooh. I'm looking for a new dress for graduation. Oh, if you go to the IT new demonstration with me. Oh, sure. So, I mean, I can believe it. My mother comes up with this peach thing? Peach? Yeah. She has a bruise. Life's not as easy as it seems Hold tight to your facade So elite in everything you do Keep it in your crowd A book by its cover Try, try looking it over Why, why make it such a private club? Let him in, then take cover Classic, classic, typical faux pas Classic, classic, typical faux pas
Um, I'm the one that's supposed to be weird, remember? And you're the one that's supposed to be cute and cuddly. But even I wouldn't be caught dead wearing a get-up like that. Well, I think it looks good. You gotta be mm. kidding. <laughs> you know me. I'll do anything for attention. I'm wet and I'm cold. Well, there were raincoats over there. Come on, let's go off for a while. There's a sale on the Eaton's. I'm not going to Eaton's now. There's a sale ends tomorrow. If I don't get something for graduation, I'll have to wear that tacky blue thing your mother got me. Yeah, let's do Eaton's first. There's a guy I'm supposed to meet there. Oh, yeah, connection time. Okay, so we'll see you later, okay? Okay. I know what you two think is important in life. You, you'll probably marry one of those boring chartered accountants. And the biggest event in your life will be some corny tax shelter deal. And you, I worry about because you're so busy feeling sorry for yourself and pampering yourself that you're going to screw up. Thanks, Mom. Oh, I was due for an overhaul. Have you seen Jeff Rowe? He hasn't shown up, but he will. He'll probably be on his course. Her mother used to be a nurse. She was sent to Hiroshima by the Red Cross. Hi, oh, everybody. No, no. What about Carl? He used to be a lawyer, but he hated it. He quit to become an artist. Oh, Smile. Hi, Jeff. Oh, yeah. oh, no. Such an exciting time since I was a flapper. <laughs> we used to say, if you can't dance to it, it's not my revolution. <laughs> well, I think it's important we take a stone. Yes, I do. But it doesn't mean we can't have fun doing it. <laughs> Find Jesse. Tell him that he has got to get a van from Seesaw. It is really important. 
Cecil and Van, okay. Should be at the camera and video room or something. Can you do that? Of course I can. But what about you? Oh, don't worry. Carl is letting me stew. <laughs> he should be feeling sufficiently guilty by now. It won't be long. Okay. So, Van, Jesse? Got it. Oh, boy. Bye, kid. <laughs> Both my parents? Yes. But they're arguing. You're telling me you love her? Of course I love her. That's the point. I don't want her to get into trouble like I did. I don't want her to get pregnant by mistake. Think sex is love. Get married because she has to. Maybe spending a night in jail will teach her something. Julie, we were young men, and I'm sorry it didn't work out between us. I really am. But the fact is, she was worth it, wasn't she? And I guarantee you, spending a night in jail will teach her absolutely nothing. Well, you two seem to be seeing a lot more of each other these days. That's something. Izzy. Izzy, don't you understand you're in serious trouble? It's no big deal. What's the charge, officer? Creating a disturbance, trespassing. At a plant that manufactures nuclear missiles. You know the difference, Daddy. Breaking the law is breaking the law. In this case, the law is on the side of death and destruction. You see, that's not the point, and you know it. You can't just do whatever you want, when you want to in this life. Disappear, take a car, save the world. You didn't come home last night. Sometimes I feel it's all the same to you, that other people really don't matter. I love you, but I think maybe spending a night in jail will teach you. Julie, you're wrong, okay? Trust me, you're wrong about this. Where do I arrange, Bail? Uh, I talk to the desk clerk over here. This is what to do. I wash my hands. You haven't been through what I have. I know I have. I know it. Go back to the station. I'll take her with me. We'll have a talk. We'll be in touch, OK? I mean, there was some nice camera work, some nice angles, good structure, but it's not news. I mean, we had an item last night.